Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, as you might know, the new Fizz LR Goku and Piccolo slash Piccolo is going to be dropping on the global side of the game in about like 10 to 12 hours from now. And uh, in today's video, we're going to check out everything that you guys need to know about this release to hopefully help you decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragon Stones to try and pull them when the banner comes out. So uh, with that said, let's jump right into it, starting with the animations first, and then we'll go over the banner itself, and of course the unit details as well. So popping over to the official Global Dokkan Twitter page, I'm going to pause my music here, and turn up the volume just a little bit, and uh, yeah, enjoy guys. And there you have it, those are the animations for the Fizz, Goku, and Piccolo, slash Piccolo himself. Um, I think they're decent, <laughs> honestly, I think they're solid looking animations, especially the uh, active skill with the special beam cannon. Um, but the like super attacks, you know, they're, they're kind of basic, it's kind of what you expect from like a joined forces unit like this, it's just... Two guys going back and forth, a lot of punching and kicking and standard stuff, right? So not really too exciting to me, but I do really like the uh, active skill once again. And also the new OST for the LR is also really nice. So uh, there you have it, guys. Now let's move on to the banner, which you might think is a easy skip because... It's a legendary summon banner, and generally speaking, legendary summon banners are not that great, right? Like, they're kind of garbage in terms of value, but this one is different, okay? This is not quite the same as other legendary summon banners we've seen because it features three LRs. Okay, we got the new Fizz LR Goku and Vegeta, or sorry, uh, Goku and Piccolo, but it also has the old Int LR Goku and Piccolo, which is actually not that old. It's only been, I don't know, it feels like a year maybe or less that um, they were released or something like that. I don't know, but the point is they're not that old. And then we have the STR LR Turles as well. So three featured LRs on this banner. Um, it is a regular rates banner, not double rates. So not, you know, that crazy, but still, three featured LRs, and th the thing is, all three of them are quite good. I mean, the new Fizz Piccolo and Goku, as you will see, is really, really strong. The original LR Goku and Piccolo is still really good, in my opinion. Um, and then the uh, Turtle is same thing, you know, great support, good damage, um, just an overall still really strong unit, so... Um... Yeah, I mean, for the most part, when I talk about Legendary Summon Banners, I rate them like a 4 out of 10 or something like that for value, but this one, with the three featured LRs, um, the rest of the units are not, not that great though, let's be honest, like, these guys, um, I mean, these two guys have ECAs, which are solid, but 
Um, nothing really to be excited about outside of the LRs, so we're not going to pay too much attention to these guys. But um, yeah, it's a good legendary summon banner. It's got three featured LRs. All three of them are good, so I would have to give it like a 7 out of 10 or something like that. And especially if you don't have copies of these other two LRs, um, this banner will be like extra value for you, right? So yeah, that is the banner, a special legendary summon banner, if you will. And uh, now let's jump over to the unit itself to quickly take a look at, you know, what the Goku and Vegeta actually do, right? Did I say Vegeta again? Goku and Piccolo, what the Goku and Piccolo actually do. So starting here with uh, the pre-active skill or the pre-exchange, we have Leader Skill, Saiyan Saga, or Battle of Wits, Category Key plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%. Uh, 12k super attack raises attack and causes class of damage and 18k super greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega class of damage passive attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional defense plus 200% when HP is 50% or more key plus 5 plus an additional attack plus 90% and guards all attacks for 5 turns from start of turn launches an additional super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack as the first attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 30% when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional attack plus 70% when activating the active skill or when key is 24. So uh, the great thing about this unit is that they're an excellent slot 1 unit, they get a lot of defense in slot 1, and you actually want to put them in slot 1 because you do get that guaranteed additional super attack after you take an attack as the first attacker, right? So um, they're going to be doing a lot of damage, they get a ton of defense, um, nothing really bad, nothing negative going on here, right? Just a really great passive all around. And then we have the active skill, which greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage to enemy, disables enemy's action once within the turn, exchanges with Piccolo, and can be activated after the character receives an attack seven or more times in battle or when HP is 50% or less starting from the 4th turn from start of battle once only. So 7 attacks, if you're talking about like a more difficult event in the game like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, um, you know, Legendary Goku event, stuff like that, um, it's not going to be that hard to get, you know, like maybe 2, 3 appearances at most, you should be able to get 7 or more hits, right? Or 7 or more attacks. And then uh, I like the second condition as well, you know, 50% HP or less, starting from the fourth turn. That's going to be easy to get as well on harder events. So, good condition, um, good damage, also disabling enemies' action can be valuable. And uh, links are infighter, shocking speed, toughest nails, experienced fighters, solid support, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are joint forces, final trump card, all out struggle, battle of wits, connected hope, and Saiyan saga. Now, let's take a look at the. Piccolo now after the exchange. Uh, 12k super attack raises defense and causes colossal damage. And 18k super massively raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive recovers 10% HP at the start of turn. P plus 3 and attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional P plus 3 and defense plus 100% with 3 or more key spheres obtained. Plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing an ultra super attack, and if HP is 50% or more uh, when, wait, sorry, hold on, plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing an ultra super attack, and if HP is 50% or 50 or more when performing an ultra super attack. Okay, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and then disables the attacked enemy's action once within the turn when key is 24. I'm sorry if that was super confusing, I got confused myself a little bit. So essentially, if your HP is 50% or more when you're performing an ultra super attack, then you get the additional attack plus 50%, and then uh, disables enemies action once within the turn when key is 24. So uh, the recovery is great, 10% recovery at the start of turn, and then loss of defense, loss of attack, disables, uh, disabling enemies action. Um, yeah, good passive for the Piccolo as well. And then the links, I believe, stay the same. Obviously, categories are the same as well. 
Um, and that is the Fizz LR Goku and Piccolo. Like I said, guys, a really, really powerful unit with the ability to get a ton of attack in longer events because, as you can see, they do stack attack before the exchange, and then after the exchange, they stack defense. So if you want to get them to be more tanky in the long term, then you might want to, you know, do the exchange as soon as possible. Whereas if you want, you know, more attack in the long run, then you want to keep them as Goku and Piccolo. Although, they're still going to be pretty tanky as Goku and Piccolo, so it's really up to you depending on how you want to play, but um, yeah, it's a powerful unit. It's a really good unit. <laughs> I'll just say that right now. And it's definitely a unit that I would want to add to my collection. It's definitely a unit that, you know, you would want to have. But when the question comes to, you know, whether you should be summoning for them right now, it's a tough one, right? Because as you probably know, I'm assuming most of you guys are aware, the seventh anniversary is is almost here, man. It's like two and a half weeks away. Like we are so, so close. It's crazy. And do you want to be spending stones before, I mean, this close to the anniversary? I, I don't really know. I, I, I personally don't think it's a good idea. So if you want my opinion, I think you should skip this banner. I really do. But it's tough, right? Because as you saw, there's three featured LRs on this banner, right? So it, it's a pretty solid trap banner. It's a pretty good trap banner for Bandai to put out right before the anniversary. But with that said, um, none of these guys are as good as the seventh anniversary LRs. So there's that. There's also, you know, despite being three featured LRs on this banner, there's like what was it again 10 plus between the two seventh anniversary dual dual confess banners so uh you know as far as value goes it's still much more value for the dual dual confess so um yeah my advice skip this banner don't even think about it don't touch it they'll be back in some form in the future or if you can you know get enough coins you can buy them maybe if you really want them but it just doesn't really make sense to spend stones right now uh, obviously the choice is ultimately up to you. Um, I gave you all this information about the banner, you know, showed you the animations, gave you the details for the kit because I want you guys to be able to make your decision um, on your own, right, with the information that I provided. But yeah, if it were up to me, if, if you wanted to know how I felt feel about it, then, you know, there you go. Don't, don't summon. <laughs> don't do it. It doesn't make any sense right now. So uh, that is your pass or pull video for the new Fizz LR Goku and Piccolo guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you ultimately decide to do. Are you going to be summoning? Are you skipping? And uh, if you do summon, then how many stones do you plan to drop? Oh, by the way, there will be tickets for uh, for purchase in the ticket pack shop. So you could buy those maybe and just test your luck with the tickets. You know, save your stones for the anniversary. Up to you. But uh, that's it, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.